Right, well, I think I've gone a little bit mad. And uh, <laughs> I think if you've read the title, you'll probably know why I've gone a little bit mad. Those of you who follow my channel know that last year I bought the Xbox Series X and uh, actually got it on the day of release. But what I didn't get was an Xbox Series S. But I've now remedied that because, as I say, I've gone completely mad. And uh, as you can see here, it's a nice diddy little box. It's actually a lot smaller than the Xbox Series X box. And uh, I think that's reflected in the actual machine itself. But we'll find out about that in a minute. Only comes with a 512 gig SSD. I would have liked a terabyte, but obviously they're trying to keep the price down. And it is pretty cheap, really, for a next-gen console, even though it's a little bit underpowered, if we're being honest, isn't it? Uh, what's it say on the back? It says, power your dreams. Yeah, depends what your dreams are, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> was talking to uh, one of my mates over on Discord earlier today about a guy I used to know and his dreams were pretty dark. So you wouldn't want to power his dreams. But anyway, I like to think my dreams are a little bit easier than that. But shall we get into it? I've noticed this doesn't have a tab like the one on the Xbox. I tried pulling it off earlier on and it just started to well, pull the paint off the box. So I'm actually gonna cut this one open with my trusty knife that my mate John gave me. So let's just... Uh, Run that along there, and that should pull away. There you go, that's done that. Do that up and try not to cut myself in the process. And turn this over. What's it say there? It's just a serial number and stuff. So, good. It should be the same as every other Xbox component, except for, have we, have we got another sticker or anything? Or is that actually open now? It should just pull up. So let's see, does it just pull up? Something is stopping this pulling up, which is odd because it's supposed to, ah, oh, I don't know who's done this, but somebody has put a seal on the back here. I don't know if that was Microsoft or if it was someone else, but there is a seal there. So we'll have to cut that as well. That's not as good as the Series X. Like I say, I'm a bit surprised at that, but there you go. Right, anyway, it keeps it from flapping about, I suppose, and getting damaged. But now we should be able to get in. So, as I was saying before, <laughs> it's supposed to be idiot proof and you can open these easy, easily, but obviously I'm too big an idiot. But it should just lift up, just like the controllers, just like the Series X. And there you go. Oh, a bit hard there. But that, <laughs> that is amazing. There's a little, uh, I don't know if you can see if you can make that out. There's a little cardboard thing here that holds it all nice and steady in there. And this thing, this thing, wow. <laughs> it's minuscule. I'll give you an idea. Here is an Xbox Series XS controller box. And that is next to the Series S. And that is actually even smaller than I was expecting because I've not seen one of these in the flesh, as it were, as yet, until today. So that is pretty amazing. Unfortunately, I've actually bought this for a project, so it's probably not going to end up in this housing anyway. But uh, that's a story for another day if I actually ever get round to it. Let's see if it'll lift out. Yeah, that lifts out easily enough, very much like the Series X. But I'm just gonna put that aside for the moment. And uh, you've got all your usual gubbins. And in here should be all the usual stuff. You've got your HDMI lead, your power socket, that's a UK power socket. Some more paperwork, let's put these back. Don't need them right now. And in here, let's just pull that down a bit. We know what this is, this, is the controller and it should be the white one so it is no one's been in there and changed it for an old uh, xbox <laughs> controller for about 10 years ago right and there you go exactly the same as all my other xbox series s x controllers but before we get to the actual series s itself this has given me a little added extra because it has meant 
that I now, let's just put that out the way a little bit, have the full set. <laughs> oh, excuse me, not the camera. I've got the full set of Series X S controllers, as it is at the moment. They'll soon overtake me because they'll be making loads of these bloody things. You can bet your bottom dollar it's Microsoft. There'll be hundreds of the things. But for now, I've got the black, which was the first one I had. I've got the blue at the same time as that. Now I've got the white that comes with the S and I've got the red as well. And I've already asked people what their favorite color is. Maybe I'll put another survey up, which is your favorite color now, black, white, blue or red. Blue or red, <laughs> blue or red. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get these out of the way. I will say quickly, this one's got stick drift, so I'm not very happy. But Microsoft will sort it out. But yeah, it's the usual stuff. Control is exactly the same as all the others. Slight change on the previous Xbox One controllers. Feels very much the same in the hand. I do like the addition of this little button here. You just press it to get a screenshot, press and hold it, and it'll take a little video. And I've set it up to actually take videos up to an hour long because I've got an external hard drive I use. So that's nice, nice little addition. And as I've always said, I do prefer batteries. And it's probably got some in there, I would imagine. No, the tight watch sits, there's no batteries in there. They usually come with batteries. Oh no, it does. It does. I was going to say, I've never known a Microsoft controller yet that didn't come with batteries. That's good thinking, because if you're opening it on a Sunday for someone's birthday or on Christmas or something, and you haven't got your, well, you can't get to a shop or whatever, you could, maybe couldn't get batteries. So it's good that they come in the box. So that's nice. I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that controller a bit more later on. But again, I'm going to put that out the way for now. Actually, let's put that out there. We get to the actual main event. And this thing, believe it or not, is actually pretty heavy, especially, I think it's slightly heavier on this side. Mm, difficult to tell. Maybe slightly heavier on this side. But yeah, it's a hefty little piece of kit. Not obviously as hefty as the Xbox One X, which weighs a bloody ton, but it is quite, quite heavy, which as I've said before on previous videos, it usually signifies something that's uh, quite well made. It's usually the case with hi-fi anyway, my experience in the past. If something weighs a bit, it's usually quite well made. Although, <laughs> going on a bit here, my, one of my Onkyo amps was bloody heavy and a bloody good amp, but it didn't last very long. <laughs> so maybe not. Right, let's just ease this off and try not to break it because I want to wrap it up again because this is going to go away for a little while until I can get round to my project that I intend to do. And if you're interested in that, come and follow me on Discord because uh, I'll be going over that. And also uh, Sully from, let me see if I can remember it, Yesterday's Tech, who instantly I made a video with a couple of weeks back now. And if you're interested in retro, go and watch that. But Sully and I are both looking at doing projects. He's well ahead of me because Sully <laughs> moves like a whippet with a rocket up his ass. And uh, well, I uh, move like a turtle with a, an anchor around my neck. So uh, we're moving at different paces, put it that way. But yeah, let's just have a look at the front of it first. USB pairing button. So you would press that to pair it with your Xbox controller on off button. And uh, then around the sides, you've got the vents for intake and also here, vents for intake. Now, it will stand up like that. And it doesn't come with a stand. It just stands like that. I personally wouldn't like to stand it like that because even though it has got feet, that's gonna get knocked over ever so easily. Look at that. So it's kind of the opposite deal to the Series X. I've actually got the Series X laid on its side at the moment, but it is going to stand up in a bit because I'm moving it out of the way so I can put my record deck back in. But yeah, I would have it like that. I wouldn't have it on end. I don't think that's very safe. But that's the only downside so far that I can see. Let's just turn it round and heft it up because like I said, it's quite heavy. You've got Ethernet. You've got two more USBs. You've got HDMI out. There's no HDMI in on these Xboxes, which is a, a bit of a pain 
because I was actually using it as a pass-through for an older Xbox, but what can you do? And then there's the storage expansion. Microsoft actually thought ahead and had storage expansion from day one, albeit bloody expensive storage expansion that you're probably going to need with this because it's got such a small amount of space on it. But you know, at least it's there. Unlike Sony, which we're still waiting for and it might come in the summer and you've already seen me moan about that. But anyway, and then you've got your power connector. And these here, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can just get that up closer. Can you see that there? There's a little plasticky bit of tape or something over that. And another one, whoop, let me move that along, another one there. And that's how you get into the Xbox. If you remove these, there's two little screws under there and under there. And then this, you can see here, there's a line across, across there. This bit, this bottom piece, just slides out. And that's the beginning of getting into the Xbox. But uh, I'll get into that a bit more when I start taking it apart, because that's what I'm going to do. Whether I do that on camera or not, is open to debate because these things are always difficult to do on camera. Maybe not the first time, maybe I'll do it if I uh, have success with it and then I'll go back and do it again later. But because I, I don't want to damage it in any way, certainly not on camera. <laughs> that would make me look like a prat, wouldn't it? But anyway, that is it. It is tiny. Look, look, there's my hand. Now, admittedly, I've got quite big hands, but yeah, look, uh, it's tiny. I almost don't want to take it apart now. I almost want to just put it on a shelf as an ornament. It's lovely. When I saw pictures of it, I wasn't impressed. I thought it looked like a cheap speaker. And a lot of people said the same, you know, you stand it up like that. <laughs> there you go. You've got a cheap speaker. But um, in the flesh, and it's going to be a terrible fingerprint magnet. I was thinking about giving one of these to my lad, but I'm not sure I'd want to give him a white console. He'd make a right mess of it. And he's pretty tidy, to be honest, as a, as a kid. He's not too, you know, he washes his hands and looks after himself. But yeah, I think that's going to attract oh, terrible fingerprints. But um, other than that, I'm quite impressed with the, with the look of it, with the heft of it, the size of it. How on earth did they get all this power into this tiny, tiny little thing? Might have to buy a broken one of these and actually use the case to put a PC in it. That'd be a fun project, wouldn't it? Anyway, look, I'm, I'm wittering on. You lot have seen unboxings before, but uh, I just thought you might like to see me unbox this and talk a little bit about what I might be planning for it in the future. Put it this way, this year is Xbox's, I think, 20th anniversary of the original Xbox coming out. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember when it came out. Yeah, it should be about 20 years. So uh, I, I imagine a lot of people are going to be doing projects this year, but I was thinking of doing a, pro doing a project. Only trouble is with me, it'll be 25 years by the time I finish because it takes me so long. But it will make a, a nice diddy little project, hopefully. But anyway, as I say, I am wittering on. I'm going to go now. I'll speak to you in the next one. Cheers.